Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where it falls to me, I think, to give a little bit of a, uh, a video today on yesterday's Times Crossword Championship, where there was something of a seismic shock in the crosswording world. Um, for the last 10 years, Mark Goodliffe has uh, won the title, um, and it's been utterly dominant. I mean, I think there have been suggestions that one or two people in one or two finals have got relatively close to finishing in a similar time to him but most of the time he seems to finish 10-15 minutes ahead of the nearest challenger he never makes a mistake and it's been um, you know it's a bit like watching Tiger Woods in 2005 it was, it was something of a surprise and you sort of felt let down when he didn't win well yesterday Mark did not win and many congratulations go to Roger Crabtree for solving three extremely difficult puzzles um, uh, well within the hour. Uh, I think, um, I don't want to misspeak here, but I think Roger Roger solved the puzzles in a little over half an hour, and t take it from me, that is an incredible performance. Now, Mark did finish more quickly, I think Mark was done in about 24 minutes, but the puzzle, the, the clue that stumped him, uh, on which he made his first error in 10 years, so bear in mind that there are three semi-final puzzles in each each year as well, so in effect, he solved 60 puzzles of championship level in a row, no errors, until this clue. Um, now, have a look at it, see what you think. I will tell you, it's not a monstrously difficult clue. Um, but what tripped him up was probably a little, I mean, his first thought uh, was to come up with the word alloy. Uh, and alloy is a verb, can mean to temper. Um, and temper isn't a, a world away from soften and calm. So he changed the two L's in the word alloy to give the word arroy, which is not a word, nor is it a proper name. But he thought he had heard of a martial arroy, um, and uh, you know, as in sort of martial nay, which is a, another bit of crosswording ease and so didn't really pay it much more attention and moved on. Well, that was a shame because um, I think if he had have thought about it, he would definitely have come up with the right answer. So let me, um, let me show you what the right answer is. And calm can of course be to lay, is to calm. And then if we change the two L's here to R's, we change their side to repeat simply lefts to rights, we get the word array. Now, to marshal can certainly be to array. We don't need to go into the realm of proper nouns to do that. And, yeah, I think he'll kick himself for a while about this one, to be honest. And, and it's fair to say, looking at the blogs today, I think a lot of people are pretty stunned about this. Um, it is. Uh, it does feel like a, the end of an era. And um, we're going to have to change our titles, our title pads. He's not the reigning Times Crossword Champion anymore. And it'll be interesting to read the Times article tomorrow. But as I say, very many congratulations to Roger. To, to dethrone Mark Goodliffe is uh, something very, very few people in the crossword world have ever had uh, the opportunity to do. And, uh, and to actually do it is, is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. Um, so congratulations. As for my own performance, well, it was execrable. Um, it was my worst performance in about 15 years. I came a total cropper in the semi-final puzzle three which I could make no headway with at all. Uh, I ended up having lots and lots of gaps in the grid, which, I mean, for me is, is unheard of. In a year, I wouldn't, I wouldn't solve a puzzle as badly as I solved that one. Um, Mark suggested it might have been nerves. I don't think it was. I just think it was one of those days when, you know, my brain wasn't quite functioning correctly. Um, and even looking at the clues I failed to solve now, I, you know, they still, you know, it's not like I'm looking at them thinking, oh gosh, you know, I should have got that. I'm looking at you thinking, oh, that's really hard. Um, so, yeah, fair play to the setter there. Um, now, I thought the, the best puzzle of the finals, um, and I don't, I'm not saying this because um, uh, I've got anything against puzzle three from my semi final, but puzzle two of the grand final was an absolutely amazing puzzle. It contained so many bits of brilliance that. Um, 
well definitely when it comes up in the times we're going to do a video on it and we will go through each of the clues so that we can talk about just how clever so many of them were but I just wanted to share one of them with you which was um, my favorite clue of the day and one of my favorite clues of all time um, so I'm going to put it up on the screen now if my computer lets me I'm going to have to move this up to do it sorry about that hopefully this will work and you can see there the clue is woman putting on black while husband's putting on green now have a think about it we know this, this is a uh, this is an example of the cryptic definition so the whole clue needs to be read and thought about in a sort of punny type sense um, and the critical thing to solving this clue which I admit it wasn't the first thing I thought of, Mark actually told me that he read this clue immediately in the correct way and therefore never even appreciated its brilliance which is I, I find incredible um, but the, what we need to do is to realize that we can read the word putting there, the second putting, husband's putting on, as putting and if we read the clue that way all of a sudden it becomes completely simple so woman putting on black while husband's putting on green suggests golf and the golf widow and I just thought this was such a beautiful misdirection um, I'm lost in admiration of this clue fantastic so well done to the setter there too well done to Roger again we'll be back with more commentary on this and other puzzles soon thanks for watching see you soon